What up, YouTube? Doug here, TWT Bulls. All right, guys, meet Coconut Cream. So I tell you what, with buying females from people who have bred to our studs and with doing smart puppy back deals, we're really building an army of little females that are off of our males. Uh, you guys saw the Knuckles daughter last week. Now you're seeing little Coconut Cream, the little Cream Diego daughter. She's out here with Nelly. Um, so Coconut Cream is nine weeks now and Nelly is 14 and a half weeks so they're out here playing and it's really cool I tell you what when you're a breeder and people know who your studs are to be able to take a daughter from one stud to one of your new up-and-coming studs it's really cool um, but this little girl cream here dad will you hold her so I can show off her little face she's biting on my shoelaces here <laughs> little coconut cream so <clears throat> if you look look at that little face rope She's got the real little round ears that my dad likes. Real flat face with a beautiful rope that I like. No tail that I like. You know, real nice short back. That's a beautiful little female. So we're going to have a bunch of like 4G Diego and Knuckles daughters. And uh, we have our two up and coming studs, Winston and Nod, that are both real short, real mini and thick studs. So we got a nice little army of female pups brewing here. And you guys see bunnies out here hanging with nelly and coconut cream out here playing <clears throat> you guys know little nelly's built the same way but man that's a cute little pup i tell you what give me an army of blues and creams with the size and features i love jeez the next five ten years i'll be happy to just have all blues and creams built like this that is a gorgeous little girl look at her man that's a cute little pup that is my style frenchie right there nice little pepper. my style frenchie <clears throat> Real calm. You see, she's got a really short back, muscular back legs. Her back legs move straight when she walks. They don't kick out, you know. So her, uh, <laughs> look at little Bunny. <laughs> Bunny's like, why am I out here with the puppies? Are they annoying you, Bunny? But yeah, this is an awesome little girl. So you guys know, we'll, you guys will see her grow here. I keep all our friends she's spread out amongst family. And little Coconut Cream will probably spend most of her time <clears throat> at my parents' location here. Oh, sorry, Bunny. You guys can see Bella, our German Shepherd. There's Pharaoh, a protection, family protection dog, Dutch Shepherd, and Legend out there chewing his basketball. So they're all out here running, and my allergies are really acting up. So my throat's scratchy. I'm coughing as I'm trying to make this, but I'm doing the best I can. And now little coconut cream. You know how puppies are. She's on my shoelaces. <laughs> She's got a lot of energy, this little one. She's got a lot of energy. We need to get uh, the cream male, Nod, down here yeah. from Asheville, North Carolina, to so get some videos of Nod, because he's like 11 months now. Yeah. Um, you know, Frenchies do go through like a little more skinny stage between four months and 10, 11 months. Then when they hit a, rear, a year old, they get real nice and thick. So I want to get little Nod. Nod's the age where we want to. I want to give an update on him. I remember when Nod was eight weeks old on this deck when my aunt was down from Asheville picking Nod up. I remember when Nod was eight weeks old running around, cute little cream, built just like her. So really cool. I love this little girl. She's a great, a great quality little Frenchie, a great little addition. What's up, girl? Hey, Nelly. Nelly, are you playing with the puppy? Man, that girl is cute. I love her. I love her. Yep, so we've got Winston, we've got Nod. A bright little future for you, girl. Man, you're a pretty girl. Um, a lot of people I talk to that are looking to add Frenchies to their family, blues and creams are what I hear the most. And you know me. For me, it's all about the size and the build. I love tan points. I love merles. I love chocolates, blue fawns like bunny, blues, creams. I really don't care the color. But, um, <clears throat> you know, a lot of the people that like the size and the structure and my style Frenchies, seem to really value the blues and the creams and you know i can see why for someone who doesn't like obsess over the features and the builds like we do um blues and creams are they're nice to look at but look at that sweet little chocolate try on nelly i tell you what that color is cute You're looking good yeah she carries cream you can see how lighter tan points are too look at these puppies these are some quality girls right here yeah, she's a real good little dog. Very, very easy keeper, low key. A nice calm energy to her. Look at little co little coconut creams in that teasing age. She's just biting everything she sees. 
<laughs> she bit Bunny on the ear. Bunny's like hiding from her now. Look at that little girl. I love her face ropes though. That's what I liked about, what I first noticed about her was her perfect little, uh, man, she's got some sharp puppy teeth. Her perfect little face ropes. But guys, hope you like her. That's the little girl. So stay tuned and we'll keep everybody updated. Meet Valentina. Big thanks to Hector of Heck 860 Bullies. Hector had purchased some pups from us in the past and used a couple of our studs. And uh, this is a Knuckles daughter. So he bred his female to Knuckles and produced this girl. And so we went to him and purchased this girl for our program. It's real cool when you have studs that aren't related because then you can have daughters from one stud, raise it up and breed it to your other stud. So I thought this girl, she just had the head shape and the face ropes, the bone thickness, all the little features I like. I'm like, she would be perfect for little Winston. So we got this girl from Hector and our plan is to raise her up and breed her to our up and coming stud Winston, who's right here hanging out with her. But uh, man, she's awesome. She's got the little round ears. She's got the no tail. She's got the face rope. She's got the thick leg bones. I mean, she's got it. This girl's got it. And Hector did a great job with her. She's very outgoing, very confident. She's used to being held. She's used to other dogs. He had her vaccination records. Really happy with the way uh, Hector raised up her litter. He did a great job with her. And, uh, you know, she's going to have a great home here, a great time here. You guys know we keep all our friendships spread amongst family. So she's going to go live with my brother-in-law, with Paloma. And uh, when it's her time to breed, we're going to breed her to Winston. I'm real excited about it. We usually, between my house and all my close friends and family, I try to keep no one having more than five or six Frenchies. I think that's like the perfect number, five or six, where they can all live as part of the family without just being too much. So my brother-in-law, he's up to three girls now. And, uh, man, she's going to be awesome. I can't wait to raise her up and breed her to Winston. So... Man, Hector, up in Connecticut, we appreciate you. We thank you. And this girl's going to have a great home and do big things for us. She really is. And I got to say, for being 10 weeks old, when uh, she first got down here to Atlanta, I was impressed with how thick and chunky she is. I really was. I mean, that is one, that is one chunky girl. Woo, I love her. I love her. She is awesome. She's out here chasing the bones and playing with Winston. Winston is... Man, he's coming up on eight months old. He looks like a little burrito. He's so short and thick. It's hilarious. And this girl is thick too. I mean, she's an awesome little girl. Very outgoing. I like the way her moves. See her back legs? They go nice forward with a bounce to them. They don't, she doesn't have the wobbly knees. Um, really, really quality little girl. So, Valentina, you guys will see her grow here. And again, Hector, we thank you for hooking us up with this girl. Uh, she'll have a great home down here in Atlanta. We'll take great care of her. And uh, one day you guys will be seeing her and Winston's pups. I'm excited for that. Look at her. She is awesome. She's super cool. Thank you, Hector. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Ruby and Rainbow are next two breedings. There they are. Rainbow's the extreme piebald who carries chocolate. Huge head, smashed face, real muscular beast Rainbow is. And then you guys know Ruby's our little Brindle who carries cream who we love. And I actually also have little Honey out here. Look at little Honey. Honey, you know, she's only seven months old, but when she's older, honey, you guys know we're taking to Winston. And then Fiji, Diego daughter, Forgy granddaughter, when she's older, she'll be going to Winston. So these two are for Winston, and these two right now are for Forgy. And Ruby and Rainbow, man, their breedings are coming up soon. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, you know, we really don't care about the colors. We're happy with whatever color they get, as long as they have the features and the build we like. But I can already tell you, Rainbow... I'm going to get chocolate merles and chocolates. Ruby, I'm going to get creams. I'm going to get black brindles. I'm going to get regular brindles. So, man, I'm excited. Fiji, what are you eating? Fiji's eating something. I'm excited, man. These girls are built. Rainbow and Ruby are really built. Nice. I can't wait. I really can't wait. So stay tuned. When we do the breedings and when we have the litters, I always update YouTube first. And, uh, man, I'll be whelping both of these litters here. I'm crazy excited about it. Look at Rainbow. Look at that head shape on her. Such a smash face. I mean, Rainbow's bone thickness and head shape stand out. And then Ruby just has a beautiful little build. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. We appreciate you. And we'll catch you on the next one.